I'm Sir Tapta, and Abyssrium Pole has a new event. And it seems like events never expire in this. Somebody, somebody lied to me last video and said, oh, of course they expire, and I... Best interpretation, they were thinking of the old game. Does anyone know why? In, in my emulator only, the game is all washed out like this. And none of the other games on the emulator are. I don't know why it does that. But, yes, if you're new to events in Abyssrium Pole, or new to it in general, stop that! I, I hate... The, the, clicks just auto-go onto the stupid little treasure chest. I hate it. The events are in this magical book. Click this back button and you can see all the different events. None of them seem to expire, ever. And they stopped having hidden fish, so there's not much for me to talk about yet again. Um, I have gotten very, very bored with this game. Hidden fish were really the only fun, exciting thing for me every month. There'd be some new hidden fish, and the requirements for them just got boring and boring. And now they don't have them at all, and the, the regular requirements are just, oh, own five of this, own five of this, own five of this. Own 40 of this! Exciting! And it's just all boring stuff, there's nothing fun. There's nothing like, oh, you gotta, you know, make the train go around. There's no, take pictures of secret crap. I love those kind of unlocks. I love that kind of weird stuff. It was like catching Pokemon. There was like, you gotta figure out what kind of weird crap you gotta do to get it. And it gives you a real feeling of, you know, exploration and completion. And, um, yeah. Don't mind that, that's just my cat being a locksmith in the background. He doesn't like being locked out of my bedroom. Um, so, the event fish, the, the unlocks are just listed. You just gotta click them to do this. Um, the event currency is just vitality, which means this event, depending on where you are in the vitality curve, is very difficult. There are 11 fish it's in that purchase. I won't even bother to show you. Um, the only way to really get vitality is the same way you play the regular game. You wanna cast your skills. Always Song of the Moon first. Cast these, and there you go. Make sure you don't neglect your your uh, coral here. Say hi to Mr. Whale. There he is. And uh, remember to subscribe and like and do all that YouTube crap. If you want to see more Abyssrium videos, they'll be there as soon as there's something to talk about. Um, let's just go down the fish list. Let's just review the fish, shall we? Um, I just want to note that Abyssrium pole, you know, cold water fish? And we've got spring, deciduous forest, Egypt, tropical. And now there's just real tropical fish. It's not even, they're not even themed. They're just real fish. Um, Parker, please stop. Um, there's just, there's just real fish. And there's nothing. <laughs> Parker, seriously. I don't want to have him break my doors down during a video. Um, they're just real fish, and there's no theming left. There's no theme left to the game. It's just Abyssrium 2, but not actually any difference. You know? I, th I thought the freshwater theme... It could have just been a tank in the original game at this point. It's just... It's a shame. But yeah, blue clownfish. This is not even... It's not even any fun to review the fish, honestly. They're just real fish that we saw in the old game. Snowflake clownfish. Blue Tang. These aren't even interesting fish, frankly. Manatees are neat. But like blue tangs and clownfish, those are like the most basic thing. Any fish related game has those. Okay, Scarlet Macaw is alright. Now we're now we're in business. This one's alright. Rest in peace, what was it called? Birdtopia? There was a bird-based Abyssrium clone. Um, it was kinda neat, but the developers never supported it and it never it just never got good. It had some bugs and it just never happened. This boy is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good and not just, you know, a slightly higher fidelity version of an earlier fish from regular Abyssrium. This one, I, I like this one. Mr. Hermit Crab, you're alright with me. Black Swan, well, it's a black swan. Not too bad. The flying creatures are neat, but that's kind of worn off on me. It's just like, there's just more things. And again, a manta ray, cool, but we already had this. It just really feels like we're just rehashing stuff. Galapagos Turtle, I'm okay with this one. This is at least something that wasn't in the old game. The land creatures, honestly, there should have just been Abyssrium, but it's on land. That's what it should have been. That they just should have been like, all right, we did fish above ground. 
Why is it still called Abyssrium? Screw you! That's why Skullgirls has male characters. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whale shark. Again, a good boy, but we already had these. Um, just you know, higher graphical fidelity than the prior game. Which honestly, I'm not a super huge fan of because it's like we get to a point where these are so detailed they don't look they don't fit the art style anymore. Like, he's a little bit blocky, but not nearly as much as the Galapagos tortoise. tortoise. At a certain point, you just kind of lose the aesthetic. And the Pinto horse is just a horse. A frosty horse, I guess. Why not? Yeah, I just can't get too worked up about this. And like I said, if you if you are feeling bored like I am, let the developers know on Facebook. They're um, facebook.com slash abyss saga. Three S's in the middle. Um, that's their official page, you just search for Abyssrium, you'll probably find it. Um, let them know that this is, like, frustrating. I've noticed definitely in, on the subreddit and in my Discord, people have been frustrated that there's just not much to do with this stuff. And I actually tried to play this game. Playing a video game, what a novel concept, right? I actually tried to play this game, and it... <laughs> I had to play for, like, an hour to make a fish, and it sucked. I was not impressed. I, I was not impressed by that. And now I can finally make a second fish. I can make... But the thing is, it took me like an hour to be able to make one fish. And guess what? I need to make five of these. I need to make five of these things. I guess the cost doesn't increase as much. Ah! Sorry. Don't get angry, Tap Tap. This UI sucks. Visually, it's appealing, but I am constantly clicking stuff that is behind the menu and it, it activates. Either I click the treasure chest or I click the stupid treasure penguin. And it's infuriating. And I'll do that when I'm upgrading coral. Like it zooms in and look at this. I clicked on the penguin, he was behind the menu and it still clicks. Why does it do that? That's infuriating. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not a happy camper if you couldn't tell. Um, so other than the event fish, there are two more parts to the event. Um, there's this treasure here, which just, it's gosh upon buildings that give you bonuses. Same as all of the other events. Um, one thing I did notice is that the timer for the free tries is separate for each of these. So if you want to just grind these uh, on the free ads, you can just watch one ad for each. You get to watch three ads instead of one. That's, that's nice, isn't it? And sadly, that's, that's honestly one of the most interesting features in the game. You get to watch ads, you can put buildings. It's still... It's not as good as the expand thing in the original game, even. Because you don't get to really do it very custom-like. Also, the focus is on the up. They, they raised the focus. It used to kind of let you see above and below the Coralite. And um, now it's just down here. It's like, wait a minute. I like seeing my fish. I can't see any of my fish. I can just see these penguins. I can't even see much of the island. Zoom, zoom out, at least. Come on. I don't want to see the Coralite. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> I never liked the Coralite visually. It's very, it's like a generic mascot. Like it's there, but like, look at this. Look at this, look at, you know, there's an undersea cave, there's beautiful frost coral, there's penguins flipping around. And then there's just a mountain with a smiley face. Beautiful undersea world, mountain with a smiley face. Undersea, smiley face. It's just, it's not that. And look, even on land, there's all this stuff. But when you're in the default view, you can't, you can't see it. It's weird. Anyway, the uh, the other part of the um, the event, there are customization things in the palette menu here. These are not required to unlock any of the fish, unlike in regular Abyssrium stuff. Um, these are they do benefit the event, and if you want to get them, by the way, I noticed the um, the theme items here in this theme tab. These are one third the price, but they have the exact same effect as the other ones. None of the effects, it's not that drastic of a deal because the prices still keep increasing, right? But um, if you want to buy these for the, the boost, um, definitely buy the theme first. It's the least graphical change, I suppose. But uh, yeah. Also, pearls are so rare. It's I, I upgraded a few skills and it did make a big difference, but like I instantly ran out of pearls. I It's such a miserly game and it just does not... I just don't enjoy playing it. It's a shame. Why is it so dark, though? I don't. <laughs> I think that's just something with the emulation, because it doesn't look like that on my phone. It's a lot. The whites, they're white. 
you know? But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, that's really the event. That's really all there is to it, unfortunately. I can show you the different... These are the... This Atlantis Fountain. Tropical Camper. That's... That's not a camper. Whatever. Shipwreck Hideout. Resort... Catamaran Yacht? I don't yacht. I'm sorry. I'm not rich enough to own a yacht. So I don't know what that means. Surfboard Beach. Seashore Picnic. And again, these are all... <laughs> We've completely abandoned the whole polar aesthetic at this point. It, it just... Ultimately, it feels like this was like a wasted game. Like, this should have just been a UI upgrade and a bunch of new fish and a new tank in regular Mysterium. And... And it's a shame because regular Mystery Room is still going and the UI could really use a refresh. It could really use the new Manage Fish menu. It could really... It could really do with some sprucing up. It's kind of a mess. But that is the update. Again, if, you, if you're as frustrated with the game as me, let the devs know on, um, on Facebook. You can email them too, but Facebook seems to be the best way. Uh, direct message them too. Don't just post on their Facebook, like, wall, is if that's even still called that, um, because I don't think they read that. Um, when I interacted with them in the, in the past, it was like a, you know, 25% chance they would actually read your DM, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but yeah. Um, not impressed with Flaro Games, by the way, I gotta say. Flaro Games bought out the game, and I have been very unimpressed. They removed Hidden Fish, the, ra the, you know what? Even if you wanted to remove Hidden Fish and always keep the unlocks in the game, the unlock should be fun. The unlock should be interesting and varied, and they should be like, have you trying new things, right? It's just, watch ads. Own five of the prior fish. Watch ads. Five of the prior fish. Watch ads to get Blessing of Snow. Watch ads. Again, it's just all the same stuff, and most of it is just watch ads or make fish. Both of which are just a really slow grind. And there's no, there hasn't been any variation in the events at all. The second event added the, um, you know, the customization stuff with the penguin, the treasures. That was all right. But since then, nothing. There's just been so little variation. I just get the feeling that Flaro Games just doesn't give a crap. And they just bought a game that had an existing player base. And they just want to bleed us dry and just, you know, they just pay the developers to make, you know, new fish. And that's... <laughs> That's all. I really get the sense from the comments. You might have noticed I've been locking comments on new videos lately. Um, I feel like everyone that plays the game for a long time just gives up. Because I just get newbie questions only. And it didn't used to be like that. This game used to have a great community. And the thing is, how did we... This is a single player game. How did we ever form a community, right? It was because of the hidden fish. You didn't know how to get things. So you went online. You talked about, oh, oh, I tapped the corner and I got this thing. It's like, oh, that's cool. Let me try this. And like, oh, did you try this? And I, oh, I got a weird squid thing. And it was great because you would communicate and they would add hidden fish pretty regularly. So there was always a reason to come online, see what the new stuff was, talk to people. And now it's gone. And the dumbest thing about all of it is the dumbest possible thing. Do you remember this feature? The game has in-game hints on Hidden Fish. Even if you hate Hidden Fish, even if you never, ever go online and figure out stuff, they added a whole feature just to give you the requirements for the Hidden Fish. One at a time to keep them sort of hidden, but it still gives you value to, you know, kind of go online and talk about what kind of hidden creatures there are, what you can do to unlock them and all that crap. It was a pretty perfect compromise in my opinion. It was great. And they just don't care. They just ignore it. None of the none of the event fish have been hidden since um, there was only one hidden fish event in the events that even had them. And there's been two events with no hidden fish. Sucks. Whatever. Um, that is a Bistrium poll. <laughs> Sorry, there's not more good news. But I mean, it is very frustrating for me. Um, there will be um, the anniversary event should start up fairly soon in um, regular old Abyssrium. I think they usually do it like halfway through, you know, where their actual anniversary is. Um, heck, it's the fourth, it's almost the fourth anniversary of Abyssrium too. It, it really, I really miss those 2018 days. 2017 and 18, this game was huge. There was so many people playing and the game, the game just didn't res respect its players ultimately is the problem. 
they they had that disaster of a uh, Valentine's event. They stole people's candy anyway with the um, the Halloween event that year, and things just things just got rough, and just nothing interesting. Just nothing interesting added. At least, even if it's gonna be a hellish grind, at least give me something to work for. Give me something. Give me some new gameplay mechanics and stuff, right? It's just. It's just sad. Well, see you next video. I'm SirTapTap. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to get more Abyss videos. Um, see you whenever that uh, next event drops. And hey, since I know a lot of you have gotten frustrated with Abyss Room 2, check out some of my other videos. I play a lot of games. A lot of them are mobile games. A lot of them are free. Um, no matter what reason you are avoiding non abyss -rium games, I guarantee I cover some stuff you might be interested in. So uh, check those videos out if you have a moment.